Hello everyone, welcome to Small Turbo Channel. Let's talk about Science 9, Quarter 1, Module 3, Non-Mendelian Patterns of Inheritance. For what I know, you refer the answer to the answer key. Explanation will follow later on. Non-Mendelian Principles of Inheritance. The very foundation of this one class is Mendelian uh, in our grade 8. Remember the principle of dominance of Gregor Johan Mendel. For what's in, you can refer to the answer key. That is very easy. It's all in the answer key. As well as what's new, refer to the answer key. So let's proceed to what what is it? Incomplete dominance. Let's define incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance or intermediate dominance is a pattern of inheritance in which neither gene is totally dominant over the other. This results to an intermediate form of other two phenotypes. Keywords, you have their phenotypes. Remember, phenotypes refer to the physical appearance, something that we can see. Now, let's have an example. For incomplete dominance, this is applicable to a 4 o'clock flower. I hope you're familiar with the, this kind of flower, the 4 o'clock flower. For 4 o'clock flower, you have red, white, and pink colors of the flower. Let's combine first red flower and white flower of 4 o'clock. For red flower, the genotype, when you talk about genotype letters, okay, we represent the red flower by capital R, capital R. For white flower, W, W. Combining the R and W, you have RW. When you see genotype RW, the color is pink. Remember, remember that. So what, the, what is the color if it is RW? That should be pink. This simply means when you are going to combine red flower 4 o'clock and white flower 4 o'clock, what is the offspring or ang anak? Ano ba yung anak? Color ng anak? Pink yung color ng anak. Okay? The offspring is pink. When you combine pink flower and pink flower, you are going to use RW as the genotypes. The letter is RW. Okay? For figure 3, a cross of two pink 4 o'clock flowers. That means we are going to cross two pink four o'clock flowers so the genotype should be rw because it is pink another pink rw but just combine them okay, just combine r like r times w r times r the result should be rr r times w the result should be rw w times r the result should be rw w times w the result is rw so we take the rather ww so you have RR. How many RR are there? In there are four offspring. One, two, three, four. How many RR? That is one out of four. That means if you are going to get the percentage that is one divide four times one hundred percent, you have twenty five percent. Okay. How many are RW or pink? You have two, one, two out of four. That is two over four times one hundred percent. That is fifty percent. Okay. Half of Four is two. That is fifty percent. The color is pink because it is RW. And then you have how many uh, WW? You have one out of four. That is one over four times one hundred percent. The result is twenty-five percent. Okay. Remember, uh, don't worry about F two. F two stands for second filial generation. Okay, second filial generation. Because why is it second, sir? Because if you observe here, you have F one first filial generation. This is our first parental generation the f1 the first offspring is f1 rw and we combine that here we combine all pink that is why the f2 okay as you see this is the f2 that means the second filial generation or sa bisay or sa tagalog apo okay to yung mga mama original parents nanganak sila pink yung pula at sa kaputi nanganak sila pink tapos yung mga anak na pink kinumbine ito you have result you have red you have pink you have white that is why this f2 second filial generation mga apo ito ang mga apo from here original ito mga apo na kunyari okay. let's have let's use the Punnett square okay let's have first problem white four o'clock flower ww remember the genotype for white what is that ww and red four o'clock flower what should be the genotype for red four o'clock flower that should be ww all you have to do just write the parents here. W W. This is for white. R R. This is for red. Then 
combine r times w is equal rw and so on so when you look at this four these are the offspring yung mga anak so ilan ba yung if you observe oral or all are rw what should be the color di ba pag rw sinasabi natin pink so 100% pink flower means si yung mga anak nila lahat pink 100% four out of four is is pink so 100% pink yon okay remember pula combined with white so four o'clock flower and yung color what is the color of the offspring yung mga anak it should be pink okay. let's have problem two pink four o'clock flower rw times pink 4 o'clock flower yung lahat ng mga parents pink rw rw combine combine them r times the r is equal to rr r times w rw r times w rw w times w w w so ilan ba yung rr dito isa sa mga anak of spring so that means 1 out of 4 that should be 25% if you get the percentage Next, ilan ba yung RW dito? Dalawa. There are 2 out of 4. So, that is 2 over 4 times 100%. That is why nakuha natin yung 50%. That means, out of 4, dalawa yung pink na anak. Okay. Ilan ba yung WW? Isa lang. So, that means, out of 4, isang white. So, 1 over 4 times 100%. That is 25%. Let's apply this in the problem. Activity 1. Let's apply let's solve the following problems below let's have problem one across cross a white four o'clock flower ww with a pink four o'clock the rw using a punnett square so first let's have what are the color of our parents you have white so what should be the genotype genotype means letters that we're going to use for white we're going to use w w second parents you have pink so what should be the genotype means letters of pink are W. Combine them. What we have to do is combine R times W right here. RW. R times W. RW. W times W. WW. And so on. This is a bunny square. So what is the phenotype of a heterozygous 4 o'clock flower? We are asked to give phenotype. Remember, phenotype, physical appearance. We're referring to the colors of the flower. Okay, what should be the phenotype of a heterozygous 4 o'clock flower? Heterozygous, it should be pink. Why is it pink, sir? Because if you observe, WW pareha same letters so this is homozygous not heterozygous when you talk about red rr still homozygous so the only thing that is hetero means different letters is rw what should be the color of rw that should be pink remember phenotype physical appearance heterozygous dapat not same yung letters so si rw lang si pink lang ang heterozygous Okay, among the combinations. You understand? Let be, what are the possible offspring of this cross? Possible offspring, we are asked to give the color of the offspring. So, you have RW, RW, WW. So, what should be the color? So, it should be pink and white. RW, pink, WW, white. Okay. What are the possible genotypes of the offspring of this cross? Possible genotypes, you are asked to give genotypes. Genes, we are referring to the letters. So, you have, all you have to do, give the letters. So, ano ba yung what is inside the box? You have RW and RW, W, W. So, just write, just, just can write R, W, W, W. Genotypes. R, D. How many phenotypes that would possibly come out? Phenotypes, again, we are asked to give the physical appearance. So, we talk about physical appearance of this. We're talking about color of the flower. So, how many are R, W, R, W? Two out of four. So, you have two. What's the color? Two. Pink. You have W, 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 W. Two WWs. You have two white. Let's solve problem 2. Show by means of diagrams the cross between black chicken of a certain strain BB with splashed white chicken with black splashes WW and the offspring of which are blue or the Andalusian breed. So first you have to make a pin, uh, square Bunny square rather. So what's it, what, are, what are the color of our parents? We have black. For black, what is the genotype? Letters that we are going to use. BB, BB. Next is white. We are going to use W, W. They combine them. B times W is BW and so on. Let's proceed to the guide questions. What are the genotypes of parents and offsprings in this cross? Let's start, start with the parents. Genotypes. We are asked to give the genotypes. Remember, we are going to use letters. So for parents, what are the colors you have black so for genotypes you have bb and then for white is ww so genotypes is bb ww how about the genotypes of offspring look at the 
ladders inside the square Punnett square so these are our offspring for offspring so all are BW right here BW letter B what is the new phenotype that result in this cross remember we are asked to give phenotype still physical appearance we are asked to give the colors so black blue or white so in this case what is the phenotype of what is the new phenotype that result in this cross so we're referring to the offspring BW is the genotype so what is the color for BW that should be blue that is according to the given example blue is BW Letter C, how do you explain the formation of the new phenotype in this cross? This it is the application of incomplete dominance. This simply means that for incomplete dominance, it is not only applicable to 4 o'clock flower, but it can also be applied to chickens, the feather of the chickens. Okay, so that means for black chicken combined with white chicken, the result is blue that means in black is in completely dominance or dominant over white and white is in completely dominant over black so that is the explanation let's have problem three what phenotypes would result in if the blue offspring of chicken is crossed with another blue offspring so we are going to cross all the blue offspring here okay let's have blue so what's the, what should be the genotype of blue we have bw bw because all the um, we are going to combine all blues here. So BW, BW is the color of our parents. This is actually F. The result is F2, second filial generation. Mga apo. Okay. Now, let's have letter A. What are the phenotypes in this cross steel phenotypes? We're referring to the color. So in this case, look at inside the box. BB, what should be the color? It should be black. BW, BW, what should be the color? It should be blue. Then WW should be white that is why the answer is black blue white because we are asked to give phenotypes remember phenotype means physical appearance referring to the color letter b what are the genotypes in this cross genotypes again genes something that we cannot see that is why they designate this with letters so we're, when we ask to give genotypes we're referring to letters so what should be the genotypes copy inside the box bb you have there bw and then ww there Give the genotypic ratio of the genotypes. Genotypic ratio. We need to say the ratio of the genes, the letters. So how many are B, B, B here? You have one. How many are B, W, two? How many are W, W, one? So we'll start with the biggest number. Biggest number is two. Two B, W. So two, one, B, B, or black. So you have one, one, W, W, one. So the ratio, genotypic ratio is two, is to one, is to one. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the part of this tutorial. We'll be talking about codominance and multiple alleles. Uh, for multiple alleles and codominance, these topics are quite challenging for grade 9. So stay tuned. Subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you very much. See you for the part 2.